Hey folks, part two of the fast mail order system and the Craigslist training and services we have to offer and mindset. Folks, I want to show you something in part two. Usually on my screen pal, I pay monthly for fi over 15 minutes. And I have forgotten to renew, which I often do sometimes. But notice that hardly ever happens. That this would be a disconnect when I'm giving uh, my uh, making my videos and sharing them, folks. There's a devil, and he's not walking around with uh, a, 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 a pitchfork in a red suit with horns and a long tail. Devil's real, folks. And I know for a fact that he had a lot to do with this video being disconnected like it just was. But nevertheless, I immediately jumped back on and I'm going to fight the good fight of faith. So please continue with me as we do discuss the Word of God. Folks, notice when at this point in time, there's so many people following our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 5,000. Tell everyone to sit down. Verse 10, Jesus said. So they all sat down on the grassy slopes. The men alone numbered 5,000. The men alone. So figure men with their wives. Those who are married with children. You can f picture 5,000 people. How many of them have families with them? So some of the best theologians said that crowd was closer to 15, 20,000 people. 15, 20,000 people. And guess what? They needed something to eat. There was no food, folks. And a little boy was there who had some food. And the little boy had loaves of bread and fish so if you look at verse 8 then Andrew Simon Peter's brother spoke there's a young boy here with five barley of loaves and two fish but what good is that with this huge crowd verse 10 please don't miss it folks tell everyone to sit down Jesus said so they all sat down on the grassy slopes. The men alone numbered about 5,000. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, to his our Father, and distributed them to the people. Folks, those few barley loaves of bread and those few fish miraculously fed all of the crowd and had Plenty left over. What a meal that must have been. Finger licking good, boy. Eating barley loaves are delicious. Barley, you ever have barley loaf bread? And it must have been the best fish in Galilee and all the surrounding area. Fresh out of the water. Finger licking good. Boy, they must have had a beautiful meal outdoors. When the disciples went to our Lord with this situation, there's a tone in their voice and in their being of complaining. Verse 8, but what good is that with this huge crowd? This is all we have, Lord. How are we going to do this? We only have a few fish and a few barley of loaves. They were complaining, folks. But our Lord didn't. He knew exactly what was going on, and he wanted to teach them, and he wants to teach us, me included, right now. Stop complaining, folks. Stop complaining. With the little you have, do you have your health? If you don't have your health, do you have a place to stay in 2023? Some of your friends might be homeless. Can you with your eyes see me right now 
If you have no eyes and you're blind, can you hear me right now? If you can't hear me, just go like that. I'll pray that you can hear me in the spirit. Folks, what I'm trying to get across to you is that what you have right now, where you are, stop the complaining. I'm preaching to myself too. I'm preaching to myself too. I'm preaching to myself too. Stop complaining and give God thanks for your husband who might be waking up with a hangover, drunk, who was out all night. Or your wife that might be doing the same thing or maybe not. Thank him in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you, concerning us. People ask me, Paul, what is the will of God in my life? You didn't read it in the Bible. The will of God is that you be thankful in everything you have. But I don't even have a place to stay. I don't even have any money in my bank account. My health is declining. I don't, the list goes on with all of us. But all that's happening to you right now, folks, in your suffering is medicinal. Like when you drink a cup of coffee, I use hazelnut, that tastes good. But medicine, if I were to just take medicine, my face would scrounge up. Folks, whatever you're going through right now, excuse me, whether it be financial straits, whether maybe you can't find the right list for your mailing, whatever it is. Did you wake up this morning? Guess who woke you up? God. And by the way, tomorrow is not promised to us, folks. Because there's only one Savior in this world. And it's Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He died on the cross for sinners. And it's not an offer to believe it. It's not so much of a decision that's left on us, but it's a command that you believe that God the Father, God who created you, sent His Son Die on a cross for our sins. Embrace it, folks. Stop complaining. Thank God for the little that you have. And when you do that and hold it up to Him, He will multiply. He will quadruple. I'm a living testimony to that. Can I get an amen? Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, folks, with that said, boy, I feel great right now. Let's get on with our training. Okay, how this all came together, interestingly enough, I was going back and forth with Sam over there in Texas. And I was going back and forth with Katie. You know Katie? Is it Leona that we talked about? Well, there's been others who want to do Craigslist. We want to do Craigslist. But folks, this training is supposed to be for you. Now I'm getting calls, texts. I can't do this. I can't do that. Can you put ads up for me? And folks, I'm not a money tree. <laughs> I'm putting ads up, spending my money. $5 ad. Listen, folks, I'm happy to contribute. But if I'm putting up ads all day, paying for ads for you guys, come on, man. So I didn't think of this. I didn't even read. I'll even read you. And it's I. It's confidential. I won't give any prices. But Sam, oh, pray for Sam for jury duty. Jury duty Monday for Sam. Jury duty's tough sometimes, folks. Some tough cases. We pray that God would have mercy on that one. But out of Houston, Texas, he wrote me this text, and I'm glad he did. He said, Paul, you help me with Craigslist, and I'll give you $100, two payments. Is that okay? So 
he's the first one that offered, folks, I'm not looking to make money, but if I'm spending two days helping you guys get Craigslist, putting all my stuff aside, I have a family I need to provide for, too. If you want my services for Craigslist, I'll give you a affordable price. You need to send me at least 50 bucks to start, and I'll put some ads, $5 ads up for you. Start getting you some money coming in. But folks, Ron Caddy and I have some a beautiful program that we're putting together with the perfect postcards, the best leads, and we're not going to have to go through this. There's other people, folks, that I talk to in this business, and they're noticing a slowing down in their mail outs, whether or not the leads are good or bad. But I want you to know one thing, folks. Do not give up. I need you to know that you can't give up. You have to stay in the ring. You got to be like Rocky and Adrian. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely, Adrian. Yeah, you got my life. My wife loves when I do that. But, folks, look. You got to be a Rocky. You got to be an Adrian. The last words of my pop when he left this earth, the last words he said to me, he was a military drill sergeant. He said, Paulie, don't give up the ship. Paulie, don't give up the ship. And I'm telling you guys, don't give up the ship. You want to build a business? I'm going to tell you what it entails. Sacrifice, folks. Do you know what time I went to sleep last night, folks? I didn't go to sleep last night. I went to sleep. At 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning, I woke up at 10-ish, about 10 o'clock. Ron Caddy was texting me, Ron. Folks, sacrifice. Do you know I haven't eaten yet today? Folks, I haven't eaten anything yet today. Woke up at 10 o'clock, went and did a couple of chores, this and that and the other. Saw Mama, my elderly mom, trying to spend some time with her. Caring her for heaven. Oh, that's going to be, huh? Woo-wee! That's going to be a tough one. But I know she'll be in heaven. Um. Oh, man. <laughs> Folks, you got to, you got to be strong in this life because. It's a point if a man had died once and then the judgment. And it was tough seeing Pop go, but Mama, oh. But um, it's sacrifice, folks. It's sacrifice. And if building a business was easy, but the rewards are tremendous. And it might have to take some sacrificing, getting less sleep, eating less food, spending less time with your loved ones and family. What's this new business she's getting into that Samantha's getting into, that Katie and Leona are getting into all the time that they're spending night and day building this business? That's right, folks. Because... Every moment, every second that you spend sacrificing, building this business on a rock, not sinking sand, you will reap the rewards, folks. You will reap the rewards like no other. You will reap the rewards. Folks, I'm coming up to my time, 15 minutes. There's probably going to be a part three to this. But for now, God bless you. If you need my services, go in the description. I'll leave a price list on what it looks like or give me a call. You know you can call me eight, anytime, 862-658-2086. I love you all. Mindset, pray, read the word, keep sacrificing, and you will reap what you have sowed. Talk to you soon. God bless you. And as always, Shalom.